Criminal justice is not responsible for your PC and or game files. Always monitor your own risk. I also recommend backing up your game files before following this tutorial. Thank you and enjoy the show. What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Los Santos Mega Pack. This, is, uh, this was done by request. Uh, one of my subscribers and Discord members had asked me to do this. Let me make sure that that is the exact name of it here. It is the Los Santos Mega Pack. Yes, I believe that's what it's called. I'm trying to find it here, guys. I'm sorry. Jesus, I'm having a hard time finding it. Okay, yes, the Los Santos Police Service Mega Pack, guys. That is going to be what we're installing today. Guys and girls, click the link in the description below. It's going to bring you to this page right here. Guys, this is a very nice pack. It's made by Jedediah. So just want to say thank you, Jedediah, for your uh, creativity and effort in LSPFR community. We surely do appreciate it, my man. So guys, this is a very, very nice pack. I've been, I had to look at it. I haven't even installed it yet. Um, and we are going to download this and install it, guys. It's ELS. Let's go ahead and scroll down, guys, and click download this file. And uh, it looks like there is two different parts to this. So let's download both parts, guys, just in case we need it. So download part one. Let's do that one first. And then we'll go back and get part two. I hope you guys are having a fantastic week. I hope you guys are standing consistent prayer with God or some kind of meditation. And you're enjoying the live streams, of course. We're going to be going back into the whistleblower of Outlast tonight. I'll be doing that. Guys, uh, save this wherever you want as long as you know how to get to it. I am going to save it as... I'll put it here and go to my LSPFR vehicles, wherever that is, right here. And then I will save it. And then it's going to take a minute to download. Just a few seconds here. And then once it's done, guys, I'll show you how I do it. I open the folder. I think I've showed you all this before. I minimize my window and I grab the pack and I pull it out to the desktop like this and then you have a copy here and then you always have your main copy to go back on that is still fully functional see that all right guys so that looks like that might be the only pack we need but we're gonna go back just in case so go back in your uh, your internet your window whatever it is and go back to the pack and then we are going to, um, sorry guys if y'all hear my stomach growling, I'm really, really hungry. I gotta get something to eat, man. I'm starving. Alright, uh, Los San uh, we want the second one guys, part two, dot raw, we want that one. Now, this is gonna be a big pack, I'm gonna be installing this with you guys. And we're gonna do one thing, I'm gonna show you guys how to back up your file before you install anything, just in case anything goes wrong guys, we are gonna do that in this tutorial. Because I know I say it all the time, and I showed you guys how to do it in one tutorial, but there is a way to do this, guys. I'm going to show you. So, guys, uh, save it somewhere where you know how to get to it. I'm going to put it back in my OSP of our vehicles. And this is going to take a few seconds to download as well. But, guys, I'm going to show you how to back up your game file um, before you install a new mod. You always want to do this, just in, unless you're really familiar with the mod. But if you're installing a new mod... Then what you want to do is you always want to back up your current game file in case anything goes wrong. Then you have a file to fall back on that you know for a fact works. Let's see what's in this file right here, guys, because I haven't looked at these yet. Vehicles, Crown Vic, traffic, police. Soda. Oh, this is a big pack, guys. This is a really big pack. Nice, nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and close out of that. Close out of this, guys. You're going to need your open for But before we do that, guys, I want you to go to your file explorer. Okay, and go to this PC. And then I also want you to go to the hard drive in which you installed your Grand Theft Auto 5 on, okay? Now, this is going to be for Steam and Epix users. Guys, the installation process is the exact same for Epix and Steam. It's the same thing, okay? All you got to do is open up your Open 4 and install it with me, okay? So, guys, um, Epix users, you want to go to your hard drive where you installed your GTA 5, which would be here, and go to Rockstar Games or Epic Games, whatever it says. And you want to highlight the G one that says GTA 5, right-click, copy, and then go down here and right-click, and then click Paste, and let that file copy all the way over until it's done, okay? That's your backup. That's your backup in case something goes wrong with this particular file. Now we're going to go back. 
For Steam users, go to the hard drive which you installed your GTA 5 on. I'm going to select mine. We're going to go to Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common. And then, so this is my current file right here, guys. Okay, this is my current file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back. I'm going to right-click since I'm installing into the Steam version. I'm going to go ahead and make a backup. I'm going to right-click. I'm going to copy. I'm going to go right here. And I'm going to paste. And this is going to paste... I had 100% complete replica of this file right here. That's what it's doing right now, guys. Now, this is obviously going to take a little bit. It may take about, mine says 14 minutes or whatever. Um, so, it may take about 15 to 20 minutes, guys, to do this. But trust me. Trust me when I say this, guys. This 15 minutes can save you hours of reinstalling your entire LSPFR because you failed to make a backup, Okay. This is what I mean. This is what me and Jeffrey are talking about when we say back up your game. Back up your current game file. This is what we're referring to, guys. Because if you install a new mod that you're not familiar with, and you install it in that file and you don't make a backup, you have to reinstall your LSPFR all over again. Unless, for some reason, you can take out what you put in and make your game work again. But then, you know, it's not always really right. So it's always good to make a backup, guys, of this. And that way you have that backup to fall back on. So just say, for example, something goes wrong with this file right here. I would delete it. And then I would go down here and rename this one and erase the copy and the dash. And then that would be my new file. I could fall back on that. Okay, guys? So I will see you, ladies and gentlemen, when this file is done copying over. All right, guys. So now that that is finished... Um, so here's what I was trying to tell you guys. So now you have this copy right here. Let me get rid of that, guys. I don't know why, but those things irritate me. You can always delete your laws, guys, if, just in case you didn't know that. You have that copy, and then you have the copy of it right here. Let me get rid of that. So if anything goes wrong at all, ladies and gentlemen, just say if you install this pack or any other mod, and this file right here gets corrupted and your game won't load or anything at all, you can always right click and delete it and then once you're done you come back here and right click and click rename and then just erase this part right here down to the V and then you have a new cut you have the exact copy of Grand Theft Auto 5 except it doesn't have this pack in it okay that way you know the copy before that works that's all I'm trying to say guys alright so now that we got that let's go ahead and close out of this and let's go ahead and open up our OpenIV. Epic users and Steam users, open up your OpenIV. It's going to be the same exact pathway, okay? Same exact pathway, same exact process, okay, guys? So what we're going to do for the vehicles is we are going to navigate to Mods, Update, Time64, go to DLC Packs, and let's go to Patch Day 20, all right? Then DLC.RPF, Time64, Levels, GTA 5, and then vehicles.rpf. Now, I would highly recommend, guys, go into your favorites and click Add to Favorites. And I'll say vehicles.rpf, click Add. And then you now have this pathway in your favorites. All you got to do is click it when you open up OpenIV. Click that favorites, click vehicles.rpf. It'll bring you right to your pathway where you install your vehicles. The second pathway we're going to need, guys, I highly recommend you save that, okay? The second pathway we're going to need for right now is going to be ELS. So go up in the side column here. Go to ELS and Pack Default. Again, ladies and gentlemen, again, click your favorites, add to favorites, and click add. This is where your XML files go. Now, we're going to go back to vehicles.rpf. So click favorites and click vehicles.rpf, and it brings you right back to here, okay? So here's what we're going to do, guys. Let's go ahead and open up this first pack. All right, and double click on the LSPD Mega Pack. Did that? Did they do that right? LSPS. Somebody misspelled it. All right. So um, anyway, guys, there is going to be some required files we have to install. It's going to be our car variations, vehicles.meta, and our car codes. Okay. There is pathways in these readmes for you. Okay. But what we're going to do is we're going to install the vehicles out of this pack first. Then we'll install the uh, the required files. Okay. So open up your vehicles pack. All right, we are going to start with the Crown Vic. So open that up, 
grab your police all these police files right here guys drag them oh my mistake guys i always do that make sure your edit mode is on or it will do that it will not let you drop it again guys grab the files drag them and drop them right there all right go back go to your second vehicle police four grab those three drag them and drop them all right back again grab the charger drag them i mean grab them <laughs> drag them and drop them okay and then go back get your other charger it's going to be under sheriff grab those three files if i can get them drag them and drop them okay back again this is for the ford grab those drag them and drop them might need to stretch this uh, out a little bit let me stretch this out just a tad okay let's go back one more time and then grab the other one this is your under p ranger grab it drag it and drop it now we're going to install the els guys okay so go up here to your favorites and i hope you saved it go to your favorites click pack default in gta 5 that brings you right here to your xml files if you do not save it then shame on you seriously it's els pack default that's your pathway okay you need to save these these favorites guys you ain't got to go through all the pathway every time Let's go back in our WinRAR, go back again, go up where it says ELS, double click on that, double click on VCF. You're going to grab every single one of these XML files right here, guys. You're going to grab them and drop them into your ELS right here and pack default. Drag them and drop them right there, okay? That is done. Now let's go back and then go to required files. This is going to be our car variations, vehicles.meta and carcals.ymt, okay? Let's go back, and we're going to open up the README, okay? So we're going to bring this README right over here, and we're going to go down, and we are going to find the pathway for the carcals right here. Tells you what it does, okay? This is important, as without it, the light bar will fail to work and will, ch and will cause issues, okay? So this is our pathway we're going to go to right here, guys. So we're going to go over here to Open IV and navigate to Mods. What does it say? Mods. Update. Update.rpf. Time 64. And data. Okay. Right here is your cargoes.ymt. Okay. So let's minimize our notepad. And then go into your required files. Grab the cargoes.ymt. Drag it into your Open IV and drop it just like that okay now let's go ahead and pull up our notepad again the next one we're going to put in guys is our car variations again it tells you what it's for this is for the vehicle to be equipped with rotors if you're using different slots to the ones provided make sure the siren setting for each vehicle is 18 so this is what causes your vehicle to have the rotors working rotors okay this is going to be our pathway right here guys okay so we're going to go back up in our open iv we're going to navigate to mods okay then we're going to go to update time 64 dlc packs and we got to find the mp christmas 2 okay so we got to find so let's find that real quick where is it at where is it i've seen it in here a hundred times uh mp christmas 2 right here guys is our mp christmas 2 that's it so double click on that dlc.rpf common and data okay and then let's minimize our notepad again and this is for the car variations guys right here is your car variations dot meta okay grab this car variations dot meta right here guys and drag it in your open iv okay and drop it just like that all right next up last but not least is going to be vehicles meta okay now since i think i know this pathway by heart we're going to go up we're going to go to mods update update.rpf common data levels and gta5 here's your vehicles.meta right here guys okay you're going to grab this vehicle's meta file right here, guys, and you're going to grab it, drag it, and drop it into your OpenIV just like that. Now that we are done with that, 
All right, let's go ahead and close out of this. And we are done with that first file, okay? Now, let's open up the second file. All right, double click on the LSPS Mega Pack. All right, now all we have in here, guys, is vehicles and the ELS to install. So go over to your OpenIV, guys. Click on your favorites. Go to vehicles.rpf, all right? Go over here to your WinRAR and double click on vehicles. We're going to start with the first one, the Crown Vic Traffic. Pull it up. Oh, look at there, a police, old, a police old file. You don't see those too often. Grab it, drag it in your open IV, and drop it just like that, okay? Go back. Let's go to the Silverado. Grab it, drag it, and drop it, okay? Go back again, guys. Get the Tahoe. Grab it, drag it. And drop it. Everything is drag and drop, guys. When it comes to modding LSPFR, GTA 5, it's all drag and drop, man. That's all it is. So go back. Grab the uh, the 2016 uh, Ford Slick Top. You're going to grab these. Didn't we just install an FBI one or was it FBI? It was FBI 2. Grab these. Drag them. And drop them, okay? Go back one more time. Grab the next one. Grab it. Drag it and drop it now this just filled up our vehicles on l on lspfr the only thing it didn't provide guys was a um transport van okay or a riot now that we're done with that go back in your winrar go back one more time click on your els vcfs and then go over here to your open iv guys and go to your favorites and click on pack default you're going to grab every single one of these files right here ladies and gentlemen you are going to drag them and drop them into your open IV just like that, okay? And we're done. We are done. I think that was it. Yeah, we're done. Let's close out of that. Get rid of the shortcut. Now, what you want to do, guys, is you when you get done installing stuff into open IV, you always want to go up here to your file and click that and click close all archives, okay? And then click your edit mode, close out, and that's it, guys. Oh yeah, my notepad's still open. Let me close out of that. <laughs> All right, guys, and I will see you all inside of the game. All right, guys, so we are going to spawn these vehicles. Now, there's two ways you can do this, ladies and gentlemen. You can do it through your simple trainer by hitting F3 on your keyboard and going up to vehicle spawning, and then you spawn your vehicles through emergency. And from, uh, you can do FBI, FBI 2, and then police cruiser, um all the way down to sheriff suv except for the rcv and the police maverick okay or you can hit f4 and type in s p a w n tab hit space and then spawn them in individually by like for example fbi there's one two or you can go like this and go Police, there's your police transport, police one, four, two, three, police oh one, police oh two, and your police bike. Okay? So you can do it like that. We're gonna use the simple trainer, okay? So go ahead and pull up your simple trainer, guys. Let's go ahead and do this. Click vehicle spawning. And let me actually change the time real quick, guys. I don't want it to be too terribly dark. Um we'll put it like around, you know evening time like that let me freeze the time on that all right and then go back and go up to vehicle spawning again guys gonna go to emergency and let's go ahead and start with the fib all right this is going to be our fib then go ahead and activate our els This is going to be, oh my gosh, guys, look at this vehicle pack. This is nice, man. This is nice. Got takedowns? No takedowns? Let me get out of that. There we go. There's a, we got a spotlight. That is awesome, guys. Look at that car. That is nice. All right, so we're actually going to park this one right here. And then we're going to go ahead and go back to our simple trainer, vehicle spawning emergency, and grab the FBI 2. Go stage 1. Stage 2. 
and stage three. Oh, guys, this is a really nice pack, man. Look at those rotary lights, man. I love it. Uh, dude, I cannot remember your name that you, uh, the one who referred this vehicle pack to me in my Discord, man. I'm so sorry. Uh, actually, you know what? I have to give you a shout out, man. I'm going to look you up real quick on my Discord. While my Discord is pulling up, I'm going to go ahead and back this vehicle up right next to this one. Guys, this is a really nice pack. Let's go ahead and hop out. And let me see who it was that actually referred this pack to me. Um, let me see. Who was it? Um, who was the guy that referred this pack to me? I can't remember who it was. I'm trying to find him here real quick. Uh, man, who was it? Oh, my goodness. I can't stand it when I can't find something I'm looking for. And then when I'm not looking, I'll find it. When I'm not looking, I will find it, man. <clears throat> I can't remember who it was. I can't remember your name, man, and I can't find you on my chat. I'm really sorry. Um, yeah, I can't find it. Okay, so anyway, man, big shout out to you, brother, for for giving me an, for giving me the idea for this vehicle pack. Uh, it's very nice so far. Like I really like the rotary lights, man. I always have liked the rotary lights. Those are very nice. Look at the reflection coming off there, guys. That's that uh, custom environmental lighting, guys. Doing that, making those lights pop like it. Like Jerry says, making lights pop. Let's go back to our simple trainer, guys. Vehicle spawning emergency, and let's now go down to police cruiser. All right. <laughs> And then, are we in... Uh, oh, look at the inside of this thing, guys. That's very nice. There's a radar right there. Nice partition in it. Very nice. All right, I'm going to go with stage one. Stage two. These are nice, guys. These are so nice. Turn the lights off. And stage three, guys. There we go. What a nice pack, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. Very nice pack. I don't know if I'll spawn them all, guys, but we'll try to spawn a majority of them. Oh, didn't mean to bring that up. Let's go ahead and hop out of that one. And let's get our simple trainer back up. Go to Police Cruiser 2. And this is the uh, Dodge Charger. Stage 1. Stage 2. And Stage 3. Man, guys, these are so nice, man. I'm going to have to use these like in a patrol. Seriously, I'm really going to use This is a really nice pack. So nice. And these Dodge Chargers, guys, and the Crown Vicks, anything with the V8, you want to install the improved engine sounds. Um, I'll do a tutorial on that if you guys want me to. But it actually makes your V8 engine sound like a real V8, guys. It's really amazing. I love that improved engine sound. All right, let's go to Police Cruiser 3. This is going to be our Ford Taurus, I believe. Is it a Taurus? What is it? Ford Interceptor. Stage 1. Stage two. And stage three. Nice, guys. Very nice. Very nice. Loving the pack already. Loving it. Alright, guys, let's hop out. <laughs> There's a lot of vehicles in this pack, guys. I think that's why I love it so much. Vehicle spawning, emergency, and now we're going to grab... We did a police four, right? Unmarked cruiser. Alright, this is the slick top Crown Vic. So, stage one. Is there a stage one on it? No. Stage two. Oh, man, guys. Look at them strobes. Stage three. Man, them lights be popping. Look at that, man. Very nice pack, guys. Very nice. I can I can definitely see why the guy wanted me to install this pack. Because it is, it is super, super nice, man. Super nice. All right. Let's hop out of that. Let's go ahead and... Grab maybe one or two more. Emergency. Um, we did the police old. So there's a police rancher. Oh, how do you get the board up? How? Wait a minute. Maybe it's like this. Let's let's try this, guys. Go to our menu and go to vehicle. Uh, let's go to doors and go to hood. Now. Nah. Usually, okay, it's the trunk. Let's close the hood. It's the trunk. 
It's the trunk, guys. The trunk is the one that lifts the board up. Right? But then how do you get the board to work? That's a good question. How do, does the board not work? I said the board work. Ah, there it is. It's only on stage one, guys. Look at that. Oh, wait a minute. Sometimes if you move it, it'll, it'll knock that thing back down. Nope. Vehicle. So it is your trunk, guys. It is the trunk. There it is, guys. Look at that, man. Look at that. That is so nice. I'm about to hit that other car right there. Man, guys, check that out. So it only works with stage one and stage two lighting, guys. That's what it works with. Stage one and stage two. Once you go to stage three, it shuts off. But there's your stage three lighting for that, guys. Let's just keep that on stage two because that looks really good. And guys, you can actually change the patterns on your lights. I don't know how many of you know that. But you can change the patterns, and I'm going to show you how to do it real quick since we got this particular vehicle out. Um, let me exit out of my menu there. So I'm going to go back to stage one lighting. All right. And for your traffic advisory, guys, you're going to click the letter I. And that should change your, yeah, that's changing the pattern there. See that? So that changes your pattern a little bit. I'm going to click it a couple times here to get to a different pattern. Maybe just a little bit faster. So yes, it does change the pattern, guys. See that? That is so intense and bright, and I love it. So yeah, guys, just click your eye. Keep clicking your eye. And then for your uh, stage 3 lighting, guys, for your light bar and stuff, you're going to click the letter U. And that should change your patterns on your light bars. These may not have that option on this vehicle, but it might have it on the other one. So let's go ahead and put that down, guys. So you hit your M, pull up your menu, go to vehicle, go down to doors, and go to trunk, and hit enter, and it closes it up, guys, just like that. That is pretty sweet, guys, right there. I really dig that. Pretty sweet stuff. All right. Back to simple trainer, emergency, and then we'll do this one right here. And this is also um, a uh, vehicle with that rotor on it. So let's go ahead and hit vehicle, go down to doors, go to trunk, and go ahead and turn that one on. Very nice, guys. Very nice. Stage two and stage three. It should go down when I back up. Yeah, it did. All right, so there you go, guys. So there is the majority of your pack, guys. The only ones you have left to spawn to put into your game. Man, guys, look at that pack, man. Look at that. That is so nice, man. So the only ones you got left to spawn, guys, would be your... Um, if I can get that out of my way there. Would be your park ranger, then your sheriff cruiser, and your sheriff SUV. So we might as well just go ahead and spawn. Let's get the park ranger. Stage one. Stage two and stage three. All right, we're gonna pull this one right here. All right, and then we'll spawn the last uh, last two. Sheriff Cruiser, the other Dodge Charger. Stage one, stage two, and stage three. All right, guys, and we're gonna pull this one right here. But guys, if you get that improved engine mod sound, it really makes a big difference in your V8 engines. Like, it makes a huge difference, guys. Man, look at that pack. That's so awesome. And then last but not least, guys, the Sheriff SUV. This is the Marine unit. Guys, massive role play with this vehicle. Stage one. There's no stage one. Stage two. Oh, my texture. And stage three. That usually happens when I have too many vehicles in one spot, guys. In one area, guys. So let's put this vehicle actually over here a little bit so when I have too many vehicles in one area guys it usually it usually does that to my texture so guys there is your vehicle pack um, your mega mega vehicle pack guys the only thing you're missing like I said your police bike your helicopter and your police transport ladies and gentlemen but that is it ladies and gentlemen I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I love you all so much. Make sure, guys, again, I'm going to say this in every video until the day comes for the GTA 5 update. Make sure you are backing up your game version, guys. Not your your game file. You can do that when you install a new mod. 
Your game file and your game version is two different things, guys. When you back up your game file, that's what I just showed you when we were on the desktop, okay? How to back up your game file. Now, backing up your game version is something that Steam version users, Steam users have to do through Rage, okay? Now, there's also a way to do it through your Epic games, okay? You can't do it through Rage, but I do have a tutorial on showing you how to do it on the Steam version and the Epic version. I'll leave the link in the description below, guys, taking you to that video showing you how to do that, okay? So make sure you're backing up your game version, guys, before that GTA 5 deck update comes out. Because if you don't, if you don't, I don't want to see you guys on my YouTube or in my Discord saying, oh, my game's not working. Oh, did you back up your game version? Nah, I didn't do it. Well, I told you in every single video, man, please, guys, listen to me. Back up your game version, man. Do it. It's so worth it. That way you don't have to wait on the updates, man. You can still play LSPFR while waiting on the updates. You never have to stop playing. So, guys, that is going to do it for this uh, LSPFR tutorial. I love you all so much. Thank you for your love and support, guys. We are surpassed 12,000 subs. And uh, make sure you check out my YouTube brothers and sisters in the description below. Their links are down there. Uh, go show them some love. Subscribe to their channels, guys. And if you're new here or if you're not new here and you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so and smack that like button and hit that notification bell so you never miss anything I post. Guys, I'm going to cruise out in this Dodge. Uh, I'm sorry, not, not this one, not this one. I'm going to grab that. Um, where's it at? This one. I'm going to cruise out in this Dodge Charger and get away from this so the texture will straighten up. But guys, that is gonna be that is gonna do it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. I love y'all so much. Until next time, God bless. Take care. Stay in prayer. Love one another. And peace out.